Pine rockland is a really rare habitat that occurs only in Miami-Dade County, a couple remnant islands in the Keys, and in the Caribbean, mainly the Bahamas, and a little bit in Turks and Caicos. An open pine forest, very diverse. There's a particular variety of pine that is only found in this region. The pine rockland has a single species of tree, the South Florida slash pine. It got its name because it grows so, so slow on the rock that the wood is really, really strong. It's very monotonous in the canopy, but when you get down to the ground layer, that's where all the real excitement happens in the pine rocklands. The species associated with them are all very interesting, and it's a habitat that before South Florida was settled, that habitat was dependent on fire. The fires would open up the pinelands, keep, keep a lot of the palms down. Pine trees will only grow in bright sunlight. And the really rare plants in pine rocklands are little herbaceous plants and understory that like the extreme sunshine. Fires would come through periodically and affect the dynamics of those habitats. And now in the absence of fire, we're having to do a lot of management ourselves to try to keep those species in place and healthy. Fire is actually good in the Pine Rocklands because it opens these areas up. And we think a lot of these really rare plants might actually need fire in order to germinate. In the understory of the pine forest, you have both shrubs that people might be more familiar with, but they're both temperate and tropical, but you also have palm trees. So you have cabbage palms or sable palms that are growing in a, in a very short form. You also have silver palms and salt palmettos, so you have a real diversity of tropical species, including palm trees, but also many others. Each little tract of land is so completely different because there's different elevation changes and there's different changes in the soil. The further south you go, the less soil or organic matter until you get to areas that are almost pure rock. Then when you go further down, more in the one to two foot range, then you have grasses like lopsided Indian grass, vines, spurges, you pick up wildflowers. These are gonna be a mix of temperate things that are also found further to the north. Many tropical species and endemics, plants that are found nowhere else in the world. Most of the area that people live in, in Miami-Dade County was historically pine rocklands. This is a habitat that evolved on top of old ancient coral reefs, lime rock, and in Dade County there was a whole ridge called the Miami Rock Ridge. If you think about where people want to live, they don't want to live in the swamp, they don't want to live in the mangroves, they want to live in a nice uh, high dry spot, and so the pinelands were the high spots. They were like islands in the middle of the Everglades. And so the pinelands were converted originally for agriculture and then for urban development, a way to make space for people to live. One of the things that happens with development is that the natural areas become fragmented and isolated from one another. So animals can't move from forest patch to forest patch. Seeds can't be moved from one to the other and so on. And then when the railroad came through, there was a high demand for pine wood. And when the first houses were built here, they were built from the pine trees. So that's another reason that those uh, pine rocklands were destroyed pretty early on in our history. There used to be 185,000 acres of pine rockland, and now there's, there's less than 25,000. Collectively, there are dozens of fragments of pine forests, and those fragments can be very small. They could be an acre or less. And even that size of pine forest, say five or six acres, can have more than 200 species of native plants. Having a little bit of pine rockland in your yard, you're helping science, you're helping us restore these areas, and also by not planting invasive plants, you're helping us by not having plants that we have to remove from our natural areas. One of the things that people can do is by planting native plants, they can help to reconnect those patches of habitat. And that's important both for animals and for plants. Tropical Audubon has a wonderful joint program through Fairchild Tropical Gardens and Miami-Dade County. There are some nonprofits involved where you can come buy native plants and learn about native plants. We also have work days where you can come to the different preserves throughout the county and learn about the specific preserve, come help us plant, take out invasive species, different things like that so you can learn about what's actually in your backyard. What we're learning, we're sharing with our members and homeowners here. 
uh, because this is a time when what you do in your backyard is essential for broader conservation.